Good evening, good evening all, good evening all. I trust you are all well, safe and sound, and uh, welcome again to this week's edition of Nigel's Nuggets. This week we're coming from the office because um, it's, a, it's a filthy day here in the Bay. I don't know what's what it's like in your part of the world, but it's a filthy day here in the Bay. Um, uh, firstly, let me apologise uh, for last week because... Um, I didn't answer any comments that people were making because for some bizarre reason I couldn't see them in my feed. So any comments that you made last week saying hi Nigel and all the rest of it, I only apologise that I didn't answer you because nothing was coming up. I don't know, the technology failed us for some bizarre reason. But anyway, here we go. Without further ado, let's hope any comments you make come up in the bottom and I will endeavour to reply. So anyone that's new to this, um, this is the weekly roundup of everything that's been going on at Heathcliff HQ and any interesting people we've had through our doors and goodness me, we've had some interesting ones in the last week and you know who you are. So um, yes, any comments, any questions, put them in the box below and hopefully if I do see them this week or if you just want to say hi, um, I will be able to answer you. If I don't answer you and you do put a comment in there, there's something wrong with the technology that I don't understand. So anyway, all right, let's crack on. So. Who have we had in over the last week? Who have we had in? So, um, ah, Peter and June. Peter and June, absolutely lovely couple. They were with us for, I think it was two or three nights. Can't remember now, but Peter's very big into his begonias. Um, and uh, they, in the week, the, the three days, I think it was, that they came to see us, um, they should have been in, I think it was Shrewsbury, at the National Begonia Competition, which Peter goes in for every year. And um, and he, he, I believe he comes quite high. I don't know if he's won it, but I, I think I've heard the word second and third mentioned. But anyway, they were lovely people, and they left us a lovely review on Booking.com. It was very kind of you. Thank you very much. They gave us a, a 10 out of 10. I'm not quite sure how many 10s we've got in a row now, but it is quite a few with a cheeky little eight stuck in the middle. Um, but apart from that, 10, 10, 10 all the way. And um, yes, and he, he did point out in his review that maybe Nigel and Juliet will have a mode to sort the garden out. Well, I can tell you what, Pete, it's not going to be any time soon because we are busy. Proper, proper busy. The bay is busy. We'll get to that later. So uh, Denise and Rob, they were back for their first visit to us post-COVID. I think they're on their second or third loyalty card. Um, and this is probably the first time they haven't extended. We all, I was lucky. We had a gap at the end of their stay because they were with us for three nights, but they usually end up staying for five because Denise and Rob just don't want to go home. And this week they couldn't because Denise had to go back for some training at work. Lord and Lady Radnidge Grantham. Uh, my lord and lady, if you're watching, tipping a forelock. Uh, they left us uh, last Thursday. Uh, Kevin and Debs, uh, they left us, was it yesterday? I think it might have been yesterday or the day before. Um, it's such a shame to see them go. They were with us for seven nights, and um, they were absolutely lovely people. Really, really nice. We had some fun times in the bar with them. And uh, Kev, um, I hope your dad um, is, is keeping well and, uh, and improving. Um, Terry and Lee, uh, there were some new people. It was lovely to see them. Jean and Andy were back for their first post-COVID visit, and Jean's lost her naughty card, naughty, naughty. But I believe Juliet's going to sort out those for you. And we had some, as I said, great fun times with all of those, and lots of evening meals, and lots of, and just lots of laughter. It really has been uh, good. And at the moment, who have we got in amongst others? Uh, Phil and Diane, they're with us uh, for eight nights. Um, poor old Diane, she does get embarrassed when uh, when Phil starts to go off on one. But um, anyway, lovely Diane, you need to work on your calves, girl. Get your walking sorted. Pete and Tara, they are with us for seven nights, and they they are doing the absolute full house because they are having. Bed. They are having breakfast. They are having a packed lunch pretty much every day, and they're eating with us in the evening. So um, we're seeing a lot of them, and they really are a lovely couple from Colchester in Essex, even if it is the wrong side of the bridge. Uh, but anyway, we'll move on. caravans and all that. We'll move on from that. Um, Richard and Denise. Um, they're an absolutely lovely couple. They're with us for four nights I think and uh, they've been doing some walking about but Denise with her dodgy back and her dodgy knee hasn't been doing too much she's blaming old age she doesn't look a day over 35 I'm telling you you're watching this Denise Derek and Olga they're with us at the moment and um, ah, the Kirby's the Kirby's are in some old friends of uh, of mine from um, very very long time ago um, 
yeah, I mean, I've known Kevin and Lisa since I was about 18. So, yeah, about three years, I think you can tell. No, we've known them a long time. They're here with um, uh, their, their, their children, although they're not children anymore, being Caitlin's going to be 21 soon. And, and Joseph is, um, where, where is he? I don't know, seven, I can't remember. But he's, he's not a child anyway. And uh, so it's great to see them there with us until tomorrow. And they'll be going home. And so the bay, the bay is busy. The bay, it's a filthy day today i hope i don't know what it's like where in your part of the world but it has been horrible do you know we think in the five seasons that we've been doing this now down here we reckon this is the worst day we've ever seen in august ever it's been crazy weather crazy crazy weather but they tell us our weather patterns are changing right so we've got to get used to these this is another sort of new normal we're all got to get used to is it right the change in weather so um but it's, it's, thankfully it's bright. I'm looking out the window. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm looking out the window uh, to the road. It is, it is brightening up now. It hasn't rained for at least a couple of hours. And, uh, and I think our guests are not soggy anymore. Um, but yeah, I, and I think the next few days um, is looking all right. So, um, but on the, on the note of being busy in the bay, if you are coming to see us, and there's still no comments appearing, so I apologise. The technology can't be working very well, um, but there we go. I will I will try and reply to you after this. Um, and so, yeah, the bay really, really is busy. Um, and you know, you the advice we've been giving you all before you arrive is to book book your attractions, book um, you know y y your restaurants, whatever you want, because you know the, the, with social distancing, the 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 venues, whatever it is in hospitality, have all got reduced availability, and unfortunately. Um, there's a lot of people that are making bookings and they are just not turning up. And, you know, obviously, you know, we all appreciate there are times where you will have to cancel bookings. But in these times, you know, and with the hospitality suffered the way it has this year, as, as long with many other industries and, and, and whatever, um, financially. But, you know, if you, are, if you have made a booking somewhere and you need to cancel it, please let the venue know and please let the venue know in plenty of time because, you know, with all the reduced um, availability and limited with social distancing, people have, can't do the same amount of covers. And, you know, if they can't sell that, 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 that space at a table or space in the pub, it's their bottom line you're impacting at the end of the day. You know, it's not, it's not like it was before the 23rd of March, boys and girls. So please, you know, have a, have a bit of thought for whatever arm of hospitality it is that you're making a booking with. If you're not going to turn up, please cancel. Please cancel in plenty of time to give the venue, whatever the venue might be, more time to sell that space. Anyway, lecture over about that. The humidity is mostly gone um, from the bay. As I said, it's been filthy, but it's not too bad over the next few days. So if you're any one of the people that's arriving over the next few days, um, the weather's not looking too bad. But hey, don't shoot the messenger if it all goes wrong. You know, it's blame the weather prophets, not me. They don't seem to be able to get the weather right in Tor Bay. And I don't know why. It must have something to do with the moor being by the sea. It's an enclosed bay. And all of the um, the, the atmospherics and meteorological stuff that goes on around it. Um, because when we lived in the southeast, you could almost set, you know, look at your weather app. And if it said it was going to be raining at three o'clock, it would probably be raining by ten past. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... But down here, they don't seem to get it right. Juliet and I can quite often be sitting on the sofa in our lounge, looking out into the garden, doing a bit of bird watching like we like to do. And it'll say, you know, uh, pouring rain uh, on the weather app. And we look up and it's blue skies and the sun is beating down. So I don't know what it is about the bay, but don't believe everything the weather apps tell you. But I can tell you at the moment. It has been filthy today. So on that note, if you still haven't booked to come and see us and you want to come and see us, this is all we've got left in August now. This is it. I have room seven and room eight, both available for two nights, 26th and 27th. Room seven is always the favourite room. Um, and room eight is, is also very popular. They're both um, two of our premium rooms. So we've got those the 26th and 27th of August. OK, that's it. Um, and then I've got one more in August, one more slot, which is room six, which is a superior room. So the next class down from our premiums. And that is available for four nights from the 31st of August. Uh, note to Louise. Louise, if you're watching, um, you know, and you made an inquiry for that room earlier, if you want it, 
give us a call or reply to the email because I suspect it is going to go. And then just sliding into September, back to Room 8, we have that for three nights from the 1st of September. That's all we've got pretty much now. Um, obviously, we do get cancellations, so if you do want to come down and see us and come and enjoy the bay over the next couple of weeks, just give us a call or send us an email to relax at heathcliffhouse.co.uk or call us 01803 211580 because we do get cancellations, and obviously not many, thankfully, but we do get ones um, because of COVID. Um, and of course, there's nothing that can be done about that. So, uh, But if you are thinking of coming down in September, um, I can tell you that the last week and a half, we do have some fairly good availability and we do have a couple of premium rooms left. So, yep, give us a call if you want to come down. So, yep, that's pretty much everything. Oh, no, actually, there is another thing. Guess what? Guess what? You know, we've only been open a few weeks, haven't we? Anyway, Julia is already going out again. She's been out once. She's going out again, would you believe? So she's off to see Lynn tomorrow. Hello, Lynn, if you're watching. Uh, down in Preston for some kind of garden gathering, which um, I think if we to believe the weather profits uh, may go ahead OK. Um, right. As I say, that's pretty much it. I hope you're having a good week wherever you are. If you have left any comments, again, I'm sorry. I don't know why, but I can't see them, so I will reply. Um, and uh, apart from that, yes, I hope you're having a good week. I hope you continue to have a good week. And, uh, yeah, stay safe, keep well, and uh, I will see you next week for next week's update. And I did the whole of that without even having... Do you know, I haven't even got a beer here. I haven't got a beer or a glass of wine or anything because I've got to go and cook dinner again now. So I think we've only got four in uh, tonight, and we're doing... Um, what we got tonight? I think we've got two doing chicken curry uh, with rice, and I think we've got two with cottage pie uh, with vegetables. So, um, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to getting on with that. I'll be down in the kitchen in about um, 35 minutes, 40 minutes, uh, to begin serving at 7 o'clock. So, anyway, that's it. As I said, that's enough from me. Uh, I'll see you all next week. Take care, and uh, goodbye.